Hello, my sweet Holiday Hill students. I am so glad to be doing another awesome virtual art project with you online. So before we begin, you can see I'm actually outside in my backyard today. Um, so prepping for our nature artwork. But before we begin, let's start with that brain break that we love so much. So sitting up nice and tall, taking one hand, placing it on the heart and taking one hand and placing it on the belly, keeping eyes open or closed, begin to breathe in through the nose. Feel your belly expand, feel your rib cage expand, feel your chest expand, open mouth exhale. Let that chest fall, let that ribs fall, squeeze the belly to spine. Inhale, sweep, arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Inhale, rise one more time up and just take a gentle twist over to one side, looking behind you, looking behind you. Inhale, sweep, one more time. Exhale, twisting to the other side, look behind you. Look behind you. Inhale, sweep. Arms up and over. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Inhale, bring your arms to the T. Exhale, bring them down by the sides. Great job, everyone. So for this project, it's going to be a collaborative project, meaning you are going to be collaborating. Maybe you just have one Thing that you're collaborating with or you have your other siblings or parents that can help you through this project <clears throat> and the reason I say things is because the number one thing that everyone will be collaborating with is nature our art medium our art tool that we'll be using not pen not paper is truly nature and we are going to be inspired by a really amazing British artist. His name is Andy Goldsworthy. And what he does is he collaborates with nature by going all over the world, either to rivers, trails, um, different places, water, and he makes amazing sculptures out of the nature that is around him. So whatever that may be, sometimes it's leaves, sometimes it's rocks. Um, he's even done icicles before. Very, very cool stuff. So you and whoever else is in your household, so if there are a couple of you that go to Holiday Hill, you guys can work on this together. Now, of course, with your parents' permission, you can go um, either maybe just to your backyard, if you've got some awesome things in the backyard, or your front yard, or maybe you can walk around your neighborhood if you're near a trail um, around your house or something that's still open during this time, then maybe the whole family can go together on a nice nature walk and um, really just make beautiful sculptures out of art. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about and seeing a little confused, I do have a couple of images here. So just like Andy Goldsworthy, some students from past years got together and we did this at school. So you can see that they collected some, not only did they collect flowers, but different types of leaves, branches, stuff that's found on the ground, or you can pick, just be mindful of what you're picking, especially if you're in a neighbor's yard, um, making sure that we're being mindful of that. But just like Andy Goldsworthy, he was the sculptor and he was the photographer. So he photographed his work. So you can bring your camera with you, um, and or your phone and have your your parents phone and take a picture and this is what you can send to me so if you have multiple students at your house that are working on this project together you can just send me one and say it's for the whole group um, up to you but you can see how nice and lovely this one is and the cool thing about photographing this boys and girls is that because it is nature you're working with nature they, you're working with the weather as well. So what you do in the moment 
could be constantly changing. If it's windy, maybe there's a little mist of rain, an animal comes by, something happens, then the art can change. So when you take a picture of the artwork, then you at least have your lasting piece of what it looked like eventually. But that's the process of this beautiful piece and what Andy Goldsworthy was all about. His artwork was so gorgeous and lovely, but he was way more about the process. So about making the artwork and what that meant to him and how he was able to connect and relate to nature. So I'm just going to show you two more before we begin. Here's another one that looks really cool that my students did. So you can see this one's more on a mulchy background. The other one was on a mat near the playground. So you can do it um, maybe in your back patio outside, or you can gather your supplies and bring it inside if your parents are okay with that too. Totally up to you. I would suggest doing it out in nature. And when you watch me today, that's what I'll be doing. I'm gonna go somewhere, a little trail, uh, really close to my house near some water. And that's where I will be making my sculpture. And I just realized this picture is upside down. So this is the last one. So you can see too, when we're using our art words, we see lots of beautiful, patterns my third through fifth grade this is kind of reminding us that radial balance one more time so you can do all different types of lines shapes colors look at the contrast between the greens and the oranges and reds so really awesome beautiful stuff and you guys can use your imaginations together to make something really beautiful and spectacular. So I wanna use this time for you to really get outside, enjoy your beautiful weather, and a couple of tips for when you do go outside and start. What I am going to be bringing is just a little um, recyclable Trader Joe's grocery bag or just some type of little container of anything around the house or if you just have a plastic grocery bag or brown plastic bag that would be perfect because while you're walking around even if it's just in your backyard or your front yard you want to be able to gather your things and so you want to get multiple stuff you'll see that I get a lot of things to collect even if I don't use all of them I still know that I have a lot to add to my pieces. So these, like I said, are just examples of student work. And so I think they're pretty amazing and I am so excited to see y'alls and I know you'll do so great. As always, if you have questions, you can always email or um, write in Teams or channel, but let's go ahead and begin. You can go maybe outside of your neighborhood with parents permission of course maybe this is something you can do with some of your siblings or your parents or you can just go right outside your backyard and you can see I've already started to gather everyone knows how much I love flowers these are actually my favorite flowers they are the Indian paint brushes a wild flower of our beautiful Florida beaches found some really cool shells so um, really sticks leaves shelves be creative find whatever inspires you and you'd like to add to your design
So there you have it. There is my sculpture with collaboration of the beautiful nature of the earth around me. As you can see, it's been quite windy today. Sancho, my dog, has been enjoying the breeze. But remember that it's totally okay that it is windy or whatever your weather conditions are because the best part about making art outside is that it, it will not stay permanent. So remember you can do this with your family. Everyone can join in and collaborate making this fun and a sculpture for you to remember. Then when you're finished, you can take a picture and show me, or even bring your Flipgrid out to show me the beautiful masterpiece that you have made.